I like it. And, Coach, so the final question, it says, how do you work with a player who plays both sides of the ball, like an R.J. Trimble Edwards, who had such an active game on defense versus Lehigh? Uh, we kind of got to share him a little bit more in practice. Um, you know, R.J. had played in some of our defensive packages. He's got a great first step, and, you know, he's, he's very good at the pass rush, and, and he's a strong kid, and, and he's very active on defense when he's in there. And, you know, he gets anywhere from 8 to 15 snaps on defense per game, depending upon if the package that he's in is, is used a lot during the course of the game. But, you know, he plays the majority of offense in practice, and then Coach Cook will get him down to the defensive end. Um, and give them, you know, another 15 minutes of defensive snaps uh, in terms of the packages and things we're running with them. But uh, you got to kind of split time and make sure you're sharing on both sides. And it's a little bit of organization, that's all. Um, but he's done a good job for us on both sides of the ball this year. And um, like I said, he had a big day on Saturday for us, and he was active and made some plays. So that played a huge part in our win on Saturday. Coach, thank you so much all season long for answering all the Chestnut was not even touched until he was 11 yards down the field. Duke looking for the big one. Takes a shot down the field. He's got RJ Trimble Edwards. Touchdown, Sacred Heart. committing the pass interference penalty. Looking to play it clean here on third and long. Bees were in trouble. Strip sacked. RJ Trimble Edwards knocked it free. It appears that Lehigh has fallen on it, but R.J. Trimble Edwards with a big play on defense takes them out of field goal range with the ball recovered at the 35. That's the most important part about that sack because if they had not lost any yardage, it would have been more of a manageable field goal attempt for about 46, 45 yards, even a tricky win. But now you have no choice, you're Tom Gilmore, to punt this football away. And how about R.J. Trimble Edwards? He said, I was tired of people hitting on me. Let me move over to the defensive side of the ball and start hitting offensive people, dialing it up, beating the man one-on-one -on -one and getting that sack. Trimble Edwards, the senior from Cold Spring, New York, making the big play. Heading to punt it away. Beesmer rolling, pressure, and an incomplete. Guess who's there? R.J. Trimble <laughs> Edwards. Yeah. Other than Julius Chestnut, Randy, in the second half, he's been the best player on the field with the, his ability, what he's been able to do to just generate that pass for us. I'm sure in Lehigh, the scouting report, they would think we got to worry about Adjamain, we got to worry about Pepper, we got to worry about Outerbridge. Nobody thought that R.J. Trimble Edwards was going to be the guy that would take over this game on defense in the second half. 132 remains. them to the 42. Are you Konami slot right? Sacred Heart playing a little blanket defense. They're going to give LIU the short yardage. Dobbin up top. Clay. Taken down from behind. Just a bull rush. And an unbelievable move to get inside by R.J. Trimble Edwards, who just bum rushed the right side. And the pocket collapsed there very, very quickly. LIU looking to get down the field. And it's going to be a holding on them anyway, so it's not going to matter. It was just a power move. To hustle in. Again, right now, the short yardage is available. You can get a block and make a man miss, see if that can work. Beesmer with pressure, and he is sacked on third down. Converted wide receiver turned linebacker RJ Trimble Edwards, the first to arrive. Scott Brisson, I told you. To have to go. Second down and five. As Beesmer turning into a five-yard gain. He throws the slant that's tipped at the line. And you had members of both the offensive line and the defensive line nearly become receivers. Well, the receiver knocked down the ball, R.J. Trimble, because he's been unblockable so far in this fourth quarter and also the second half for Sacred Heart. His quickness is something that Lehigh did not think they would have to account for because he's making it very hard to get a hand on him and block him with this pressure. He's been able to use the inside rip move, rush from the outside. He has become a problem so far from the defensive line of Sacred Heart against the offensive line of Lehigh. Third down and five with 2.20 to go in regulation. The roll out, roll out. Second and ten. Beesmer being chased down by R.J. Trimble Edwards, and he throws it out of bounds. 
he came off that corner to Randy like his hair was on fire. I mean, he was running full speed, and it looked like that Beesman was not going to be able to get the ball away. But then how smart was Chris Outerbridge instead of doing something? that we warrant an ejection ejection the penalty stays it's just a matter of watching he hits him with his shoulder underneath in the chest i think it's i think it's clean yeah I didn't Two of America's premier high school teams have come to storied West Point. As the rain falls this Saturday, who will stand tall? Rocco Cursula and St. Thomas Aquinas from Fort Lauderdale. Or the top team in New Jersey, coached by Greg Toll, Don Bosco. As we showcase prep zone football from the banks of the Hudson. Which in Florida is probably recognized as the most powerful program, certainly in Broward County, maybe in the entire state. First and 15 against the Blitz, McCoy. Look at that arm on him for Treble Edwards. Edwards makes the catch. Treble Edwards into the end zone. Touchdown. First and ten. Play action. Walk him. We're looking to take a shot. Spencer throws downfield. Got a man into the arms. Ronald Edwards. Edwards now breaks a tackle inside the ten. Look at this play. Ronnie Edwards into the end zone. Touchdown for SJR. Let me tell you something about that young man, R.J.
RJ Edwards. He's a big boy. When you look at him, he's got some legs. He runs around. I think last week or two weeks ago in their game against a team from Florida caught five balls here. Love the way he was running patterns. I said to Coach Stern before the game, I really like this R.J. Edwards kid. He goes, I do too. And when Stern talks like that, you know he's going to get involved. But what again, the play starts one of the few times. The Saudis kick is up, and it is good, no surprise. But the play, one of the few times the offensive line did not give Allcamp great protection. He used his three-year varsity skill. Watch him sidestep the rush. Now watch this. Dickerson's going to get in there. Now he's going to sidestep him right here. Now watch what he does. He's going to come out on the roll, pat it, set his feet, throw it. And I stood behind him for 10 minutes in warm-ups, Jim. Let me tell you something. This guy can spin the football. He, re I mean, throw after throw after throw. He threw one ball out of about 70 that wobbled. Well, Ronald Edwards from Spencer All Camp. And Edwards... Like a year ago, Ronald Edwards was the feature back on the JV team as a sophomore for St. Joe's. He had an unbelievable year. But guess what? When you have Sherman Alston going to Boston College, there's no real room at that position. So Tony Carson suggested wide receiver. He said, let's do it. And the move has paid off because you can see Edwards. He's used to making big plays. Yeah, came into this game with seven catches for 113 yards, a long of 35. Hey, one of the good things that 2-4 did this offseason was he was all excited that he got up to 225 pounds. The coaching staff said, RJ, let's drop a little weight here. So he dropped about 12, 13 pounds. And you could see it right there, nimble like a dancer, strong like a boxer, and got himself into the end zone. I am a big R.J. Edwards fan. And again, all camp just looks like a three-year starter. Fasati now. The goal now for Fasati and St. Joe's. They have turned this game around to the left side. Look at this. One man a beat. R.J. Edwards is down to the one-yard line. Great open field tackle that time. I believe that was Miles Strickland because RJ looked like he was heading for the promised land. I love the call by Stern. I think he got his hand down and bounced his way into the end zone. I don't think he was down. That's a touchdown, folks. He put his arm down, and when contact was, that ball, if this was the NFL in college, they'd be coming up to us in the booth right now, and there'd be a red flag on the field. But I like the call by O.C. Rob Stern. You know, Justin Jr., big third down here. All camp, not a time. All camp, looks over the field, got another wide open receiver. Again, it's R.J. Edwards. Well, it all starts with this offensive line of St. Joe's. They give Spencer all camp time. He's able to take a look at this. Secondary, and St. Joe's is finding some soft spots in this defensive secondary. Well, I like to call it a horseshoe. It's when you can step up into that big horseshoe. And what I saw on that play, big number 60, Mr. Stapleton, doing a good job. He's got a whole bunch of one double A offers, has had a very solid year. Tell the dudes involved on most every play. Here's all camp now, taking a shot for Edwards once again. R.J. Edwards into the end zone, and the Edwards drive culminates with a touchdown. St. Joe's is up by 27 points. The ever so impressive number 24 in your Green Knights program, R.J. Edwards. And folks, this young man is just a junior. An impressive looking kid, Jim. I know he kind of jumped off the page when you were watching the Bergen St. Peter's game a few weeks ago, and you called me on your ride home and said, Hey, have you ever seen RJ Edwards up close? I'm like, Yeah, he's a big guy. He's like, And it's good. So he's still perfect. Facade is on the year. And R.J. Edwards is a gamer. We could see it. I, I saw it in the preseason. I liked what I saw. He runs good routes. And here's the protect. Look at this. That is, there's no penetration there at all. And is that big Kevin Wilkins in there? Maybe got away with one. Kind of had him wrapped around the shoulder. But, hey, if they don't call it, it ain't a foul. And there you go. Again, all camp with the ability to step into every throw makes every throw. And RJ's story, as you see, four plays, 62 yards. A year ago, he was the feature back on the JV team. He had an electric season. All kinds of yards and touchdowns. That was his sophomore year. 
Well, guess what? When you have Sherman Austin heading off to Boston College, there's not much room at the end for the feature back. So they gave him an opportunity to move a wide receiver. And guess what, Mike? He embraced it. He got after it. He blocked as a wide receiver. He did everything they asked of him. And look at him now. Do you remember in our meeting last year before that great Bergen Catholic St. Joe's game, that overtime thriller, 38-37? Karsich told us, he goes, we have a sophomore that we're really excited about, a kid by the name of Edwards. I don't even know if he called him JR or, or RJ or TJ, you know, and he was right because this kid Edwards is special. But Spencer Allcamp can slow the game down. Bunch formation here. Spencer now, pump fake, taking a shot down the left side. Got a man open. It's RJ Edwards. And Edwards... Out of bounds inside the 35. Edwards, arguably the most impressive physique on the Green Knights team, got open. Beautiful looking kid, 210 pounds. He dropped 15 pounds in the offseason, but there's old glory staring. Iris was clearly in his stomach and not in his legs. He looks great running it. Taking a shot now. Archie Edwards is wide open. Oh, at the last moment coming in was Riley Clark. What an unbelievable catch, partner. He caught the football! R.J. Edwards, spectacular! And Clark cannot believe it! What happens is when Edwards falls on his back, the ball falls right into his belly. Here's the play. Clark makes a terrific play, getting his hand in there. He falls on the ground, and the ball went off his bicep, and he tucked it in underneath his underarm. What an unbelievable catch. Folks, you don't need an NFL 40 camera angles to see that that was a catch. Great job by the guys in the truck. So now first and goal. Here's Alston. Sherman right there. Again, a little bit of a freeze with the hitch right before the throw. So now St. Joe's on first down. The handoff's to R.J. Edwards, reverses field. Look at him go, R.J. into the end zone, Edwards. And St. Joe's is rolling at DePaul. So I had to take the rock to the result of the eye.
doing this one? Yeah. Fuck it, I'm obviously winning. Don't make me go hit the bank. Take out a hundred to show you our pockets.